Hey there, Doug Black here. I'm the tubist with the South Carolina Brass Band, and I'm on the tube euphonium faculty at Winthrop University and the University of South Carolina. Today I'll be talking about the euphonium. Today's euphoniums are conical brass instruments in the key of B-flat with three or four piston valves. Four valve euphoniums can be found with all four valves on top, known as an inline configuration, or the fourth valve can be on the side, known as a three plus one configuration. Some four valve euphoniums, like this one, are compensating, which means when the fourth valve is pressed down, the air is rerouted through extra tubing on the back of the first three pistons. This allows for better intonation in the low register of the instrument. The euphonium traces its history through the Ophicline, a baritone voice key brass instrument that was used before the invention of the valve. In 1818, the invention of the Berliner Pumpen Valve made the construction of valve brass instruments, including the euphonium, possible. The first euphonium started to take shape around 1840 with the British style compensating euphonium that we all play on today being developed in 1874. Now I'll play something that I think you'll all recognize.